Hi there Pisces, this is Abby back with Rogue Pisces Tarot here to give you your daily reading. Uh, this is going to be for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Just some daily guidance for the day. Don't miss out on getting notified on these daily readings. Um, just subscribe, hit the little bell, and you'll get notified every time I upload. Excellent. So we've just had a full moon in Aries. Lots of fire energy swirling around. So let's see what's going on with our Pisces. Okay, so today's energy. What's today's energy, please, Spirit? Today's energy. Ooh, we have five of cups. Interesting. Okay. So regret, um, sometimes struggle to recognize what you have. Let's take a look at today's theme. Ooh. Today's theme we have Four of Wands energy, so fire energy, stability, foundation. It's also an 1111 card, which can be a soulmate connection that it's talking about for those of you who have a person in the mix. Let's take a look. What else do we have? Today's challenge, please, Spirit. Today's challenge. Ooh. And we got two, we got judgment and the nine of wands. So that's our wounded warrior, sort of trying to give one last push, battle weary, <sighs> and the judgment card. So that's to do with resurrection. So renewed faith, renewed um, desire to try again. This is Interesting, Pisces. So what's the suggested course? Please, Spirit, suggested course of action. Ooh, we have Seven of Cups. Interesting. Often to do with some confusion, okay? Um, what I think it's probably telling you is that you need to make a choice. Looks like you have a lot of options, Pisces, but we are going to clarify. So let's take a look. Now to wrap up yesterday's energy, what do we have, Spirit? Mm, no, that's too many. Wrap up yesterday's energy, what do we have today? Oh, okay. So wrapping up yesterday's energy, we have the Six of Swords. This is a card of movement. Six of Swords talks about moving on. Um, moving on, you could be in choppy waters right now and looking for a way forward, okay? Um, taking your life lessons with you, everything that you've learned, everything that you've taken from that experience, whatever happened for you yesterday, right? And moving forward to your paradise island, as Ravel and Mike would say, um, cutting the way, right? So could be a literal move, could be, some of you could be moving house. What do we have? Okay, so the key to tomorrow. We have the Ten of Cups. Isn't that gorgeous? So just emotional fulfillment, right? Happiness. Um, a couple of people, it's really coming out to me here. These two people are kind of like, they have baskets full of snacks and goodies and they're hanging out outside with all of these beautiful cups around them just enjoying some outside time so it might be a good time for you to take a walk in nature have a glass of wine outside if you can and uh, go get yourself a box of wine if you want to have a a good old time let's see here let me clarify the Five of Cups, please, Spirit. Let's clarify. Mm, 
This one really stuck. Okay, and we have Eight of Cups. Now, Five of Cups clarified by Eight of Cups. I feel like the message here is in Five of Cups, this figure is focusing too much on the things that they've lost. They're not turning around and seeing their Two of Cups. Their Two of Cups is like their perfect happiness. Their Two of Cups is their perfect match in whatever it is that they um, are are trying to achieve. It's something for them to treasure. Eight of Cups is about walking away. Uh, Eight of Cups is walking away to the Nine of Cups, okay? So he's making a sacrifice, walking through a little bit of darkness, but really um, they're looking for their Nine of Cups, that wish fulfillment. So I think what this is telling us here today for the theme will be to walk away from this, turn your back on this sort of feeling of focusing on the negative only and walk towards your wish. Walk towards your wish. All these spilled cups, the stuff that doesn't serve you, doesn't matter. Go towards your wish. Go towards whatever will fulfill your wish for you. Ooh, okay. Four of Wands. Our Four of Wands is clarified by the moon. So this is our card, Pisces, and also the death card. So that's a Scorpio energy. Combined with these, today's theme being foundation. So it could be that there's something that you are seeking, some kind of knowledge, and there's some sort of transformation maybe around your idea, ideas of your foundation. Your ideas about partnership. I'm feeling very much that this is sort of on its own and these are together. I think that there's, the moon can also symbolize confusion. And I'm getting something about there being an end to your confusion, accepting a transformation of the way that you think. Because you do have this stability at the core today's theme. Let's take a look at our challenge. We did get two cards already, but let's see if there's anything else to say. What's today's challenge about? Ooh, okay. And we have the Emperor. So it could be an Aries in your midst. The Emperor is in control. They can be a little bit of a control freak. Um, the emperor can also represent a divine masculine, an older male. You could be having trouble with an authority figure of some sort. Um, if there's an Aries in your midst, that's maybe, ooh, okay. For some of you, there could be someone who is asking for another chance for a resurrection and it's making you feel weary like this wounded warrior here but there is an energy with the wounded warrior of sort of giving it um the nine of wands sorry i keep calling him the wounded warrior of giving it one last push so it could be sort of one last try your challenge could be associated with that Ooh, and what's our seven of cups we have the world yeah, so this has to do with the, could be travel. Some of you could be traveling. We have some Leo and some Taurus energy in here as well. Uh, completion of cycles, seven of cups. I really think it's make a choice, start something new. Um, the end of a cycle, like this has to do with completion. We also have the death card as far as confusion. I feel like that really is pretty clear actually. The moon is confusion. The death card is a transformation. Focus on stability. Make a choice. Um, accept the end of a cycle. Start something new here with the world card and that feeling like the world is your oyster because you make a decisive move. What do we have here? And we have nine of wands again. So for wrapping up yesterday's energy or six of swords or card of movement, 
is clarified by the Nine of Wands. Now, Nine of Wands can talk about being defensive and putting our walls up. Um, I'm really getting that one last push here and there, right? Today's challenge, I think, is just to, to keep going and, and move forward. And what do you know? What was I saying? About Nine of Cups, Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups. <laughs> Okay, so our Ten of Cups is being clarified by the Nine of Cups, okay? Wish fulfillment, emotional satisfaction, fortune after difficulty, okay? This is your key to tomorrow, the things that you should keep in mind, all right? So turn your back on that negative thinking. Um, make some decisive, um, make some real decisions. Be an emperor over your own life. Ooh. Yeah, this Aries is coming in really strong for me, an Aries masculine energy. So if there's someone asking for a resurrection, you can also be the emperor in your own life around that situation and make a choice. This confusion doesn't have to be so, right? The secrets, this feeling of things being smoky, turn your back on that negativity. Anything that doesn't serve you, that's really what the Eight of Cups is about, is these cups are all things that he believed served him and he is now moving on because he's decided that these things don't serve him anymore. And that attitude leads you to some wish fulfillment. That's beautiful. Okay. All right, let's go with an Oracle card for the day, please. For all of you that have stuck around this long, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. This one wants to come out. And we have milk and honey. This is one of the best cards. I want to get the, let me get the book, number 51. It has such a nice meaning. I don't want to get it wrong. Okay, let me just find a way to rest my hand here so you can focus. Milk and honey, the essential meanings, the taste of prosperity, opportunities born of authenticity, nurturing abundance, and trusting that your needs will be met. What are we talking about here, okay? Um, you've entered a sweet time in your life enjoying the land of milk and honey that everyone wants to experience it's an interlude that feels more languid than ambitious when all your senses are awake to the unlimited possibilities in the universe these times are precious and only come when you're in your authentic zone wearing the world as a loose garment not wanting yet able to be nourished in ways both tangible and subtle Abundance is an energy that you are a living part of. Your needs are being met. You are given the gift of nourishment in every form. In relationships, sensuality, connection, and passionate romance between lovers, sweet moments, moments, <laughs> moments of understanding, and love among friends and family are all here for you now to savor. Your heart's calling will be answered. Let your thoughts and feelings be sweet. Oh my goodness, right? I just love this. I want these together. Come together, my loves. Here we go. Okay. Your heart's calling will be answered. Let your thoughts and feelings be sweet with gratitude and you will be nourished with the honey of abundance. The prosperity message is that there's only one authentic you, the version of yourself is spirit's emissary to the world when you're in alignment with the truth that you are a unique expression of the divine your ego can rest and your soul can illuminate your purpose now is the time when you're seeking your true north when you find this direction you will automatically step into prosperity and the world begins brings you evidence of abundance right choose your direction okay oh goodness so now's the time when you're seeking your true north. Miracles are a choice in a way of seeing the world with every choice you make right now. 
right? Seeing the world, every choice you make right now. You have the potential to seize good fortune and embrace your destiny. Opportunities will lead you to your best life now. Be open to them. You're getting a sweet taste of what you want. That's awesome, Pisces. Okay. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for sticking it out with me. Uh, you know, don't miss out. Give it uh, the notification bell a little ring and subscribe. And you will get to hear from me every single day. Okay. Bye now.